Hello and welcome, I'm Bebo Joe, and yesterday I checked my email and there was a key for Manalord. So thank you for the devs for sending me this. This game, if you haven't been under a rock, you probably know what it is, but let's make a quick summary. It's a real-time strategy game that lets you build a village, build a region, have some war, and manage, well, materials and resources and other things and your people. So it's a very detailed well, city builder with conquering effectively, but there's a lot more to it. It's also very pretty, it's very organized. It's early access, eh, early access can mean a lot of things nowadays. And well, I played a few hours and there's just so much that the, the, the hours just went, went flying by. So how about we just check it out? What do you think about that? Yeah, sounds good. So you can do a lot of customization, whatever you wanna do here, who has the least hair? Oh, here's a guy with a beard and no hair, perfect. Um, and then you just figure out what you want to play with. You can upload your own banner, but I didn't just want to upload my B. So no thank you on that one. But I think something like this could be cool. And then you can decide on field B. I want, mm, I, don't, I don't even know. I want this one on field B. I want this one on field A. Maybe? I, I'm not 100% sure yet. And something with a, a fish on there. Cool. Um, now field D, I definitely, there was a chicken here, I want the chicken, give me that, oh, snail, oh, snap, snail is pretty cool, I like the snail, an ox, there's the, there's the cock, <laughs> you can cho choose your colors and all that stuff, um, black is generally pretty cool as a color orange on that, that looks good, let's make it green, yes, green, black, and red, that's good, this one looks fine already, um, field A, do I want a tower on there? Yes, I like the tower a lot, and I like the solid background. Um, not sure that the color is quite right yet. Can we do blue and brown? Or blue and black, maybe? Blue and white. Oh, that that's standing out. I like that a lot. Cool. Field B. No, no, I did it wrong. Uh, was it this one? No, what was it? This guy? Yes, this guy. Okay, field B. I would like you to not have something silly in the background. This is better. We can do jail stripes. Okay, we can do that one. Uh, I like this. We can add some tilling to it to make it look a little cooler. Okay, and we can give it an angle if we feel like it. I don't think that's adding anything to our um, to our needs here. So, sure, a couple flowers in the background. Why? Not this is this is sideways. I think that's okay. Uh, let's make the background also red. No, make the background green. No, make the background yellow. As you can see, there are a lot of options that we can play with here. I kind of like all of them. I don't know what I want as the final symbol: a wheel, a tower, a wheel, the cock, and a effectively a sturgeon or fish, whatever that is. Lots of customization, okay? Lots of customization. That looks great, right? Will we even see that? I honestly don't know, but let's get started. Uh, yeah, settings, game settings, I've only played for a little bit, we're not gonna go super hard here. Uh, end goal domination, yeah, sure, restoring a peace, victory conditions, conquer every region, so there's a map that you have to get into, that's fine. Um, off map adversary, present, sure, AI aggressiveness, balance, sounds fine, raiders, initial bandits, etc, etc, everything. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it this way, you can make this game very hard, but it's also early access and it's just about to get released, so I would assume that if you don't play default, you may run into some issues and I don't want that yet. Like with every city builder strategy game, the first thing you should do is press pause. There are buttons down here and you can use Z and X to, uh, to move them around, but pause, space bar is the first thing you should do because we have to figure out what's going on. Um, there's a message waiting for us. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claim, uh, claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. Okay, sounds great. That's So that's our goal, and there's our banner that we just built for, for way too long. There are a lot of things that you would expect in a building game like this that you have to see. For example, you have unassigned workers. You have assigned workers, none. You have living spaces, none. We have a total population of 10, but... Um, only five families, because families can consist of multiple people. I think it's usually three, um, but it could be more. So we have five families. We have no housing. Uh, we have an approval rating of 50%, which is great, because once you have 50% or above, you can actually increase your population or people uh, join you. Uh, public order has been just fine. Regional wealth, this is effectively your money. You have to make money to do a bunch of things. So this is important. Livestock, we have one ox, oxen. 
uh, and a number of months before supplies run out. We have some food and we have fuel. There are consumptions uh, associated with every family and we just have to make sure that we are good there. No slow. What is that? No, I don't know what no slow is. This is, this is, this is wrong. This is K-Town. <laughs> uh, ku Kulon, ku Kul Kulon. Cool on, sure. I hope that doesn't mean anything funky. It could, could sound like a like a word that means means things, but cool on sounds much better. Also, this is your development tree where you can effectively research points and get into different areas of what you want to do. Uh, same thing with policies. At some point, you can uh, get a policy and assign them in production. This one, I haven't seen anything. Maybe early access not available yet. Cool. So yeah, this is what we have. Let's zoom out a little bit. This is our map. Okay, this is where we start on. And um, we're right next to another, the yellow one is another kingdom. Uh, it's these guys, the Hildebold von Berenoite. All right, sure, why not? And then the gray stuff is effectively bandits. Okay, we have a very large area, but I don't like that we're right next to this guy. But we're just going to leave it this way because that's fine. We have a couple trading points and then these resource uh, deposits. What all do we have? So we're starting there. We have a clay deposit. That's nice. Uh, we got some berries they're just growing okay we have wild animals over here and then we have some iron down there and it looks like homeless people's tents pitching post wait that that's where we are okay uh so we have some yeah we have some animals here we have some berries here this is very important because we can actually start um collecting stuff relatively easy what i am missing is a stone no there's a stone deposit okay and it's a rich deposit which um, just last you a little longer, which is great. Yes, there's a lot of other stuff around us, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get anywhere that uh, there yet. And then you can actually talk to them. I write you to wish you to stay with disdain and suspicion, for I have heard much about you and your crimes. Hey, let's not let's not start with that uh, because we also don't have any influence. But the outlaws outlaws do the same thing. And if you want to talk to them, you just drop something in here. And if you have an extra paragraph, which I don't have, um, you can send that too. But Let's talk to them. Why not? Let her send. Sure. So yeah, this is a starting region. I'm trying to give you a little overview here, um, because honestly, I I don't know. It feels like a good thing to do, right? Good. Um, let's build something. How about that? Is there anything else we have to talk about? Well, there's the menu down here. Roads. Just building roads, and they're relatively dynamic. Cool. The tutorial is very important. Yeah, that's how it looks when you look at it later. <laughs> the tutorial is very important, so don't ignore it. Uh, construction. There's a lot of stuff in here that you need to build and can build, and we're going to get to that. There's an army, you can build one, or you can create an army once you have resources, which we don't have yet. We don't have any military items. Uh, you get that after a quest relatively early on. Um, but yeah, this is good. Let's get started. So you want to build, but there are um, different fertilities that you have to care about. So um, emmer, I don't even know what that is, but emmer, we can't really build there. Flax, nobody wants it. Barley, also no, and rye. Rye is right over here. That's perfect. So we may not want to take over too much of this area or at least get it deforested. Uh, yeah, barley is not great and flax is a little better, but um, we have three green pluses over here for rye fertility. So we want to make sure that we keep enough of this fertile ground for us. And honestly, over here may be a much better starting point for the city because we're not we're not um hogging any of our resources and we're close enough to all the things that we that we actually care about so that's good game is still paused this is why it's important that you pause uh because you will get um well benefits from that up here it tells you what your currently surplus in goods is we have 38 um goods and surplus but we only have eight timbers and we need timber to um well to build things there, the, the supplies of timber are right over here. So eight of them. We have a little hitching post. This one can be relocated later. So don't worry about where the materials currently are. You'll just have to move them. And they move them relatively fast. But everything has to be moved um, if we want to. But yeah, I would like to keep this for farming later. I would like to take down this whole forest that we have sitting right here. Because it looked like there was some farming land uh, below that. No, there's no farming land. But if we can put the farm right here... That will be super. So what we're actually going to start with is plop a logging camp right here. You can uh, turn it and rotate it with your by clicking down with your mouse and then just figuring out where you want it. Uh, trees uprooted for construction one. 
Um, this is not terrible. I would like you further over here, but honestly, I just want this whole logging area to get uh, consumed or taken down at some point. How about we just plop it here? It's a little further away than what I wanted, but that's fine. Got that. Cool. Let's um, let them start building something. And uh, we have an ox here and we need a family to do something. Here's a cool thing. If you click this mode, you get to the closest road, which is here. And you get first person view. Again, if you haven't been on the rock, you probably already know this. But look at how pretty this is. And they're just doing what they're supposed to do. The main thing, though, is if you are in the first or third third person view and the camera view from here, um, the game slows down. You cannot speed it up and that's well sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but there you go they have their little tents and do the things that they need to do i'm sure they will do just fine and at least they're smart enough to go through the forest to get their things done i don't know if i can actually build a road through this it'd be kind of cool if we could all right cool there's a there's a little forest path that they that they can take if they choose to do so um, nothing right or wrong about that, but here's our logging camp. That's what they're going to start with. We're going to speed it up just a little bit so they can start building that. Other things that we need, um, forager hut and a hunting camp. Food is one of the things that will run out in no time flat. So there are some berries sitting over here that we can actually access with this uh, forager camp. It only cost one tree or one log, and it feels very appropriate to have that there. The hunting camp i'm just going to put right next to the road here it's not important that they are next to the road and you can move them later on too i just wanted to have them just near near the stuff that i care about to have cool so there's a logging camp there are a couple of these guys let's think about where we want to live shall we good idea let's speed this up a little more because all of that has to get built we need residential places and these like to be near where they work. They don't have to be exactly where they work, but they would like to be near uh, to where they work. What I'm gonna do is probably try to stay sure. We have a couple plots now, and this is how you build residential buildings. It's just like spaced out like this. You can then uh, just reorient stuff, and it looks like you don't really like this. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna redo that because I think you have a problem with um, what we're doing here. No, I would like a footpath in between there, and I want to start with a relatively large area of residential buildings. Really, uh, not enough goods. Oh, we don't have enough trees to make this work. My bad. Okay, how about instead of going crazy, then we'll just do two relatively large plots, effectively. Uh, exactly like what we just had this is fine um make the large plots looking this way and then they can actually grow their own stuff which can be food or other things uh we just need four logs for this you can see we have one log left over after this this is a surplus you can change what you have showing here uh, relatively easy so go ahead with that once you have a building done like the logging camp um you need to assign workers we can do it just like this and once you have it's actually you assign a family not workers once you've done that you can actually figure out where they are they're right here cool they're doing the thing that they're supposed to do and currently they don't have a home they're all living in the homeless people's tents and well that's just not good enough but as you can see we're currently building two houses great uh, forager would you like to do something and then hunting camp would you like to do something that would be super so now we have three people assigned and uh two people unassigned you at least at least need one person unassigned for um for construction and i say person it's always a family you always assign a family because these are your people um but we only have three families assigned it's if you hover over this if you look at the people it's not just one person it's the whole family as you can see there cool so yeah, they can figure out what they want to do here. And now we have a couple people already moved in and a new message. What do you want? Haven't, I have heard of your renown. Only seek to defend my honor against those who work. I would like to not judge me with rumors, land their sign and see it by own seal right back. Sure. Um, that's our, that's our neighbor. It's this guy. I have, you have no right for claim to Selbitz and Hofstetten. I'm not ready to tell you that yet, buddy. I, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay so yeah we have the first village going through here and we have a little bit of money a little bit of regional wealth and we may as well use that to make something happen over here because it's the first thing that we have to spend money on what do we want 
Early on, I would like passive yield of eggs. That is food. That is a good thing. Sure. Let's get that one organized. I can build that relatively fast. Good. So saving finished. We got that building and everyone is happy. Wonderful. Let's build some more. Let's build some more burgage plots, which is just residential buildings. Um, I'm planning. I'm trying. Oh, we, we forgot something. Well, we need it. Uh, we need access to water, obviously. And just for that, you have the another overlay. This is this one. It's just water. Apparently, we got lucky because there's water right here. Just plop it down there. It just has to be relatively close to the working um, working range, and then you should be good. There are a couple shortcuts R for roads. Um, I will probably use a lot. Let's run something uh, relatively close to the road. And then, yeah, the game itself will figure out how paths has to run, um, which I don't mind one bit. Let's get that organized, that organized, and give you a path too. They don't need one, but sometimes it's nice to just have one. So, yes, they have what they want, and we need a little bit more of, um, well, housing. Let's get that organized right here. We have three... Uh, three lumber right now. We need six for this one. And I would actually like, if we do this, um, I, I do want the, there to be more room. Yes. I just want there to be enough. We, uh, hmm. <laughs> I, I do want there to be enough room, but it also, uh, what can we do here? There's not even enough room for a house. Okay. I do want there to be enough room, but I also need to make sure that we keep our happiness up because right now we have way too much homeless um, to to worry about stuff like this. So how about we just build two more houses right here so two more families get what they need and then we can move on. Another thing that's important, not the corpse pit, but the marketplace. The marketplace is where most, well, where your people go to sell stuff why is i need i need enough access to um stalls for selling stuff maybe right there sure this is fine uh this is where people will go sell their wares just anything that they produce for example this guy has chicken now so they can sell some food over here or the guys over here at the hunting camp may have some um <clears throat> what, what do they have people advanced no, no, but whatever they produce, they can sell over here, and that's important. Exposed goods. We need a pantry and some other stuff. Yes, let's do that. Um, logistics. Okay, granary and a storehouse. This one can act like a pantry, and that's what we're going to use it for. Let's see if we have some room here or not quite yet. We don't have room there. I don't want you too far away from everything, but if you could be close to at least some of your sources, in this, uh, this case... Uh, two food sources will bring all the pa pantry food there, and then the person that works at the granary can go to the marketplace and sell things. Those are all good things, so we can keep them going. Hitching post, you, where are you? Hitching post. I would like to just move you closer to where the action is. Right here is fine. Then you can pick up them, uh, some things. That will be nice. There's a market stall, so stuff is now available to them. They should have water access relatively soon. Um, I think, yeah, there's a person just getting their water. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so they can figure out what they're doing there. Um, are there a couple more things that we have to build right now? Yes, we need, not the map, that's that's the wrong button, buddy. We need um, industries. Yes, we need a lot of those much, uh, well, relatively soon, actually. But for right now, we have market, we have uh, a well, we don't have a church yet. Uh, we don't have a corpse pit. Hopefully, we don't need that very soon. Um, it would be nice to have a storehouse. Um, it's a little bit different than the uh, the pantry that we built there, but we, we still need it because logs and other things may be stored there. How about we put that over here next to where we will have our, our units when we get there? Yeah, that's fine. Um, cool. And then we have a very basic generic setup, but still not everything. Because, this is important, you don't have a woodcutter's lodge. We don't have a way to get firewood right now. We do have a little bit of fuel, but just for about seven months. And once that is out, we're, we're done with that. So um, a way to get more firewood would be beneficial. We have a lot more 
firewood available up here. So I will just put that one out here and people can still walk there relatively quickly. Um, so that should be fine. Let's get some more road access here before I forget to place it. Good. And yeah, this is all running. And as you can see, it's now nighttime. Beautiful. Logging camp. Do you have enough people? You have two people unassigned. Do I have to worry about that? I would like to increase the priority on these two buildings and then actually one more. How many logs do we have now? We have two more timber just sitting. That's not a lot, um, but it's better than nothing. We do need to make sure that we get all of our residential buildings up relatively fast. And we're just going to do maybe one or two more um, plot points that much. Sure. Is this two? Yes, two houses. That should be fine because it also gives us one extra um, building for people to move in later. And that's what you need. Otherwise, you, you need happiness, but you also need enough room to expand for more people to come by later on. So that all looks good. We have two extra timber left over again. That's nice. I don't think I want to assign anything there. We are getting food in. That's good. But yeah, fuel is the next thing that we need. So you can probably get a high priority assigned too. And I know if everything is high, nothing is high. So there's that problem. Um, but we should have nobody homeless now. This is usually a thing from last, like the previous month, we had some homelessness and now we had some homelessness, but this will go away. And our approval rating is now 50%, uh, which is what we wanted to get our, um, well, increase in population, hopefully. So let's get this one all completed. That looks good. We do have a little bit of extra money. I'm pressing the number keys to um, to move our timer around, but that's not how it works. We do have a little bit of extra money, but you have a choice. You could add more vegetable gardens or more food, and I'm going to do that one. But now we're down to almost no money in the bank, which is fine. It's not the end of the world, but we need more people um, to do anything else from here on out. So let's see what we have happening here. This marketplace has a food variety. Uh, yes, you are building this guy now. Let's see what they're actually doing here. If we can go by close. I know it's nighttime, but you guys are doing an excellent, excellent job. <laughs> um, here's our guy. There's our city. I mean, look at these plots. Look at the stuff in the back. And it, they all have nice access. Like the house has access from all the sides that you would expect it to. And all of these houses can get upgraded later on too. It's... It's exactly like what you expect. <laughs> and then, yeah, there's a lot of room here, and that's what we're going to build um, a bunch of other, other, other things, really. What do we need to do next? What are our next steps? Well, we have to make sure that we have enough fuel, and fuel is being produced in about two seconds, making sure that we have someone assigned. And for right now, I expect our people to actually be close enough because all of our residential buildings are really close to our production, so that shouldn't really cause issues right now. Um, and that's fine for the time being, but yeah, we don't have enough people to really do something, but what we have to do is figure out what our first, well, moneymaker is. What's the trait that we can throw in here? What can we do, uh, to make sure that we survive not just the first winter, but everything following that we have laid the groundwork for everything that needs to happen, but there's a lot more that we need to get to before, uh, before we're safe. Good. We got a little more food there. Let's wait for a couple more people to show up, and then I'll see you again in the next episode, hopefully like this. This is probably going to be a relatively long-running series, and if you want early access to all the episodes when they come out, highly recommend becoming a Patreon or a YouTube subscriber. I prefer Patreon. Um, I'll just put the videos out there whenever it's ready. No idea how long this is going to go, but probably for a while, because so far, I don't even know how long I've played, but it feels like 10 minutes. So... Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next time, uh, hopefully with more, and we'll see you from there. Thank you. Bye-bye.